Let's find out what our chartists make of the trade setup. Dr. C.K. Narayan and Kunal Bothra joining in this morning. Um, Dr. Narayan, uh, you know, do you concur with uh, Jayesh's analysis as to what we could potentially see in trade by way of that short covering as well as uh, run us through some of your recommendations? What's looking good on the charts? <coughs> Good morning, Avan. Good morning, everybody. Well, the market certainly uh, looked a little bit mixed in the large caps, and because we started the day well yesterday, finished the day a bit poorly. So that area is a little bit mixed, uh, and I think that might uh, probably continue because the action seems to have shifted to the uh, small and mid cap space. Because you saw, uh, if you notice, yesterday small cap index was up. Over 5%, uh, the Nifty Alpha was about 3.5%, Nifty Midcap was nearly about 3% up. So clearly that is where the action is right now and uh, I don't see any reason why it should be different today because there wasn't any kind of uh, uh, you know news flow today in the papers or otherwise to indicate that uh, people should shift their attention back to the large caps. In the large cap area, I think Notable was the movement in the IT space and uh, now progressively IT's weightage in the Nifty has now come up to about 20% nearly. Now that's a big change and considering that uh, BFSI space the weightage has been coming down very steadily it's now down to around 25% only it was about 40-42% a year ago. So that's a big drop in weightage by the financials and that's getting replaced now by IT at 20% and maybe because of reliance mainly, uh, energy is again at about 18-20%. So I think these are the two sectors which are really going to determine how the Nifty is going to move and that is where we got to have our eye. Now the mid cap, small cap area like I said that is going to be the point of focus but uh, the overall uh, large cap area is expected to hold steady. So given that as a situation, I think some stock specific movement is likely and for that I have two buy recommendations today. First up, uh, I think the strong momentum that we saw in Ashok Leyland is likely to continue, spill over from here and go towards the target of 81. So buy Ashok Leyland, stop loss at 71, dips down towards the stop can also be bought. Second buy would, all, uh, would be on Balkrishna Industries and that is looking good for a target 1400 so can go along with a stop 1360. Okay, those uh, are some of the recommendations that Dr. Narayan is flagging off. Kunal, what about you? What are you foreseeing on the markets? Do you think that it's going to be more traction within the broader universe, perhaps a little more of a subdued move for the frontliners or that we're likely to pick up steam? And what is it that you're looking at by way of individual stocks on the charts today? So good morning, Avan. I think two directions are very, very clear from the markets and two pointers. Uh, you know, first is the, you know, the sectoral front and uh, you, know, you see uh, considerable strength which is coming across in the nifty IT space not just yesterday but we've been discussing in the last one one and a half or week as well that how the nifty IT space has uh, you know, surprisingly managed to outperform at a time when the you know, nifty has been more into a choppy kind of a trading range so I think that's one clear trend which is emerging on the uh, you know sector front the other sector uh, you know trend which I believe is something very important and uh, I think the last two days uh, the data uh, has been very, very uh, you know, interesting is on the bank Nifty front. So yes, on one hand, we can say that on price performance, on the price basis, uh, you know, that the bank Nifty or the banking index is showing signs of weakness. But then you try and look at it in terms of the open interest. The last two days, there has been the, uh, you know, the increase in OI for bank Nifty is more than 22, 21 to 22%, which is, uh, you know, uh, which is very big by, you know, the standards of bank Nifty especially the fact that uh, you know, the banking index has not find, found any major signs of a trend or uh, you know, direction uh, except for uh, you know, something, uh, you know, uh, a 2000-2000 point rally which happened in the second half of August. So I think other than that, there has hardly been any major trend in the Bank 50. But in the last two days, the, sh the shoot up in the OI on the Bank 50 front by more than 20-21%, I think something which is very interesting and the markets are clearly indicating that uh, you know that that could be the sign of a next direction for bank nifty so if you see any struggle and any underperformance continue to happen for bank nifty then i believe that the bent of the oi should uh, you know indicate that there should be more selling pressure which could be in line if there is any recovery or rally then you might probably expect 
uh, you know a, a strong border short covering so i think watching the bank nifty over the next two three trading sessions could be the uh, could be one of the key uh, you know indicators of how the markets or how the uh, you know benchmark nifty could behave now keeping that aspect into perspective i would expect uh, that the markets could remain more into a mixed phase and which so i would recommend one buy and one sell the first comes from the it pack uh, one of the stocks which have been very bullish on over the last uh, you know few weeks specifically so wipro is the buy call uh, uh, earlier i had given a target of 300 now the stock is trading about those 300 levels so would initiate a fresh call on wipro at current levels targets could be revised to almost 330 levels rational remains the same that the stock is into a strong bullish breakout mode so would expect the stock to keep on moving up higher from current levels positional target of 330 stop loss to be kept at 295 uh the second would be sell on power grid now it's a, a relatively low beta stock but the price performance yesterday indicates that the stock has confirmed a fresh swing breakout it's in fact broken uh, you know back below its uh, you know ichimoku pattern breakout as well which is again a technical indicator for power grid so that's a sell targets to be kept at 164 and stop us at 174